Hi, everybody. Thanks for coming on this leadership call um, for doTERRA in Israel, but also now that I'm in New Mexico, we'll say it's in New Mexico and the United States as well. This is the leadership call, and we've just started it. It's our second call um, to go over some of the systems approach to doTERRA. I've been reading, I don't have it next to me right now, but Atomic Habits, um, which is a great book. I recommend everybody to use it. And, and yeah, there we, oh, you found it in Hebrew. Amazing. Yay. I can bring- I You can, did gave it to me. She, wow. she, she bought it, I don't know, a couple of years ago, maybe. And <clears throat> she said, I read it, now you read it. So now I'm reading it. Oh, great. I'll share the screen because I have a, the image of it. Um, and let's see. Got to move things around. Um, so Atomic Habits, Tiny Changes or Remarkable Results. Great book. It's really, I mean, in the network marketing world and the residual income world and just the success world, this book is like going around among, among businesses, but it's such a great book for just to, that he's really applying it to everything, relationships, parenting, um, you know, fitness goals or um, athletic goals um, for athletes and um, so for me, I'm applying it definitely to my parenting, to my um, relationship with my husband, 100% to doTERRA and my business with doTERRA. Um, and then um, I'm a yogi, I'm a big yoga um, fanatic. And so I'm definitely applying it to my progress within that fitness and that health regime for me. So it's great. So, um, but to one of the key points in the first chapter was that everybody makes goals. And if we are applying it specifically to doTERRA and I went to this leadership retreat in Arizona, which was phenomenal. And like the main theme there was like consistency, being consistent and it just even being like a little amount every day versus these like trying to make these big gains, you know, once or twice a week. Um, because they even brought it back to this story that I want to repeat, and it's called the, um, what was that called? It was, um, wait, I have it in here in this slide. Um, next one. No. Um, why don't I have that story? I thought I wrote it here. Um, the hike, the 10, uh, the 20 mile hike. It, to the South Pole. It was the first time that the South Pole was being explored. And um, these two different teams of explorers were going to the South Pole. And there was the British team and the uh, New Zealand, uh, and it was a British team. And then I think I believe it was a New Zealand team. But anyways, and they both, they both had the same goal of reaching the South Pole, right? So they all had the same goal. They're, they're gonna reach the South Pole, but they had different systems of how to get there. And one system, um, the not the Brits, the Brits system was like, when it's really um, on really good days, we're gonna push, push, push and get as far as we can. And on really bad days, on bad weather days, we'll just hunker down in our tents and um, and wait until the weather gets good again. And then we'll push, push, push. And the other team, the New Zealand team was like, no matter the weather, we're gonna hike 20 miles every, or, or however much it was. I wish I had it in front of me. I'm gonna grab the book really quick. Oh, I know why it's not in the book because it was Justin Harrison's story. Um, so it was on his slideshow, but, and so they were like, no matter what the weather is, we're gonna be consistent. Every day we're gonna um, walk this certain amount of um, distance. And it doesn't matter if the weather's good and we could keep going, we're gonna just stick to this distance and then rest and take care of ourselves. And the next day, even if the weather's really bad, we're gonna hike that distance. And they just kept doing that every day. And the team that won 
was that team with that systems approach of little small gains, but every day consistently versus the team and this kind of approach, which we see in the world of like, when I have time, I'm going to push and put a bunch of hours in and then three days go by or four days go by or a week goes by and I don't have any time to put towards it. And then here's another block of time and I'll push, push, push. And so, so that's what the leadership retreat was talking about. And that's what this is talking about is we can all have the same goals. Like in doTERRA, it's like diamond. To become diamond in doTERRA is really a, a high level of success um, that a lot of people aim to reach this diamond leadership um, in doTERRA because the residual income is a very nice income for a large, a large family to live on. And, and, and so many people have that goal, but a lot of people don't achieve it. And doTERRA and this book and this hike is showing that it's not about the goal, it's about the system that you have in place because everybody has a goal, but there are so many people, what's the difference between the winners and the losers? And the losers, for lack of a better term, the people that don't succeed in that goal is that they don't have a system in place that they're using consistently. So the system that, that doTERRA has for us is called, let's see, let me bring it up. I hope I didn't del delete out of it. Oh, there it is. The system that doTERRA has in place, it's called, um, their success system, it's in their back office. So for Batsheva, since you're new, you would go to, um, it's doTERRA.com and then it's um, the Empower Success Guides. Those are great um, guides to look at and read. There's a build, share and um, launch and live so live is kind of your first one here's the products here's how you learn about it share is what we're going to kind of talk about today is how are you share how do you start to share doTERRA and build is really going into the next third level of like now you're you're going behind you're you you have a system to your sharing because you're not just sharing like oh i love these products or i love this restaurant you should go to it it's more of like i'm sharing with um with a goal in mind and I'm sharing consciously. So this system that doTERRA has put in place for us, and I've been with doTERRA since the very beginning and I remember when there was zero systems. So this is nice to have a system and physical resources to look at. And so this is all downloadable or you know you can pass it on to people electronically, which is nice. So, um, so they like to put everything in this vision of building a pipe system. And so they even have this story in one of the guides, I believe it's in the share guide, or no, it's in the build guide where this, um, there's a man in a village and he's in charge of bringing the water to the village. And that's his job. He gets paid for selling water to the villagers, but it's hauling buckets. He has to bring buckets of water every day. He can't take a day off. And that's how he makes his money by hauling buckets. But in the, and he, he saw that I can't do this long-term. It's too hard. Um, I need a backup system. So in, and when he would be off of work or in between times, lunch hour, he started building a pipe, pipe from the water that's going to make it up to the village. So little consistent work every day, maybe it was just an hour, half an hour that he put towards building this pipe. And then in a couple years time, he had this pipe from the water all the way up to the village. So in the meantime, he was hauling buckets to pay his bills, to feed his family, to um, keep his self afloat financially, but he was building that pipe. And then when the pipe was built, he turned on the spigot and he makes this residual income and doesn't have to haul buckets anymore. So this is the story of residual income. Like anything we do, I'm a healer. Most people on this phone call are healers. Like I love to see people in a clinic setting, but that's hauling buckets. I get paid for my time. And as soon as I'm not doing it, 
I don't get paid. So in the mid, in the lunch hour, or um, I carve out sometimes like it's a client for doTERRA every day. And that's where I'm building my pipeline um, for residual. And so I am here to help others, especially my um, sisters in Israel to make a residual income. Yael, Hannah, you know, Batsheva, I want you guys all to build this pipe and make residual income with doTERRA because I've done it. I'm looking forward to building it even bigger, but I'm um, at a plat I'm a platinum director. I get paid consistently as a gold founder. Um, and it's a really nice income to, to live on, it really nice in Israel. Um, um, but my goal is to, to go to Diamond, to be able to live between Israel and New Mexico. You need to, to have a, um, a higher income. And this is the system that doTERRA has in place. It's simple. And if we follow it, it you know, you can build that residual income, you know, six months, a year, two years, five years. It's, it, it's individual to every, everybody. Um, Amen. Amen. Amen, amen. And the only way that you can't build it is if you quit. <laughs> yeah. That's the only way that you won't find success. So this is called the pipes. Um, the first page is the first three, the pip part of it. So prepare. A lot of times people stay in this stage, like indefinitely, the prepare stage where you're constantly preparing yourself with educating yourself about the products or the business, or you know, just constantly learning. And that's really important, but it's it's important to like get out, like do that as a portion of your time, but also do the other parts of the pipes. So um, another thing at leadership that they talked about a lot was B minus work. I know that's a little hard for a lot of us A type personalities where I'm just like, are you sure B minus work? What about B plus work or A minus work? Can't we like, but the reason why they kept saying B minus work is like so many times these A type personalities, which are those of us, a lot of us that come into network marketing and doing entrepreneurship, we have that perfection type personality. Um, and it really stifles you from growing because you stay in this prepare stage of wanting to be perfect and getting everything right. And you don't go into those next steps of inviting. So they really recommend like you that you're doing pipes every day. So prepare is like 30 minutes of self-development, learning about a new product, um, learning about self-development for business growth and um, mindset. But um, really recommending like 30 minutes a day that you're spending on prepare. Prepare could also be like you have a party plan, you have a workshop planned, and you're getting that materials together. Um, anybody else? Like, I thought this would be fun if people like gave an example of what they do in this stage, the prepare stage. Hannah, do you want to share? Um, sure. I'm definitely not an A pers type personality. <laughs> Unfortunately, I strive for B work too often, but um, we don't strive for it, but settle for it. I prepare, I learn, you guys know, I love to learn about the oil. So I'm definitely that. And um, why do I do a lot in my preparing? Um, learning. Um, <clears throat> which I think actually to my fault it because then it can distract me because when I like start learning new things and I want to share the new things like no stick to like the basic stuff like do the beginning class then learn more for the level two class and then the level three class as opposed to like wanting to start with more complicated things because I get excited about the oils and the products so I learn a lot um work on a lot of like sampling and what to give people, what would people want um, and should spend more time inviting and um, yeah, inviting and um, just educating um, more on social media. That's really what I need to focus on right now is more content on social media, like not just wanting to sell the oils, but educate on social media. 
Right. So I so I that's a good example of prepare. Um, like for me, the pipes, because like getting back to since I've been doing doTERRA since the beginning, like um, it can like um, sharing and getting information about doTERRA is can be done in so many ways. But back in the early stages of doTERRA, it was really about like in-person workshops um, and like for a month, like one a week, or that that's what was always recommended, like at least two a month to four a month. So once a week or one every other week. And if we were looking at it at that in this more traditional sense of, of how doTERRA taught it back in the beginning and how they still teach it, because it is effective in in-person workshops. I mean, we're working with essential oils. So people really like to smell them and feel them. And it is a relationship business. So people are more likely to join and use the products if they've experienced them in a workshop. And then they've they've met you as the presenter and you, cause like you're also kind of selling yourself. You're selling a relationship with that they're gonna have with you as their doTERRA representative. So in-person workshops, I still feel are the most effective or one-on-ones. Um, I built myself all the way to silver, um, which is a pretty high level, just by doing one-on-ones, like having coffee with somebody during school hours and planning a few of those a week and people experiencing the oils and joining because of that, that one-on-one um, presentation. So prepare for me is I like in-person workshops and one-on-one. So prepare for me is um, making a like planning a workshop and I'm doing them now once or twice a, mo a month and that therefore creating the theme, thinking about the material, um, what's the physical stuff that I wanna have there and then making the date. Like I feel like that's some of the simplest way to prepare because then you have some what to invite people to, right? So that's the next one, I. Um, one-on-ones, if you, if I really think about it, hindsight, that could be a little bit more nerve producing, nervous producing, because like, what are you inviting them to? I mean, I'm inviting somebody out for, actually, I love that too, like inviting somebody out for a cup of coffee or um, a cup of tea to chat about them. And then, but you, when you invite somebody for a one-on-one, -on -one, you do want to specifically tell them that you're inviting them to because you'd love to share the oils with them and and talk to them about the oils so that goes into the next step of invite like what do you do on an invite um doTERRA's example is invite others to learn about natural solutions um, and the opportunity they're talking about the business i don't invite um you kind of know who that is like people that i invite um, to hear about the doTERRA business have already been using the product. So that's, I don't invite generally, um, it's not my thing any anymore to this date with the experience I have to invite people to look at the business before they've tried the product. Um, it's such a natural um, organic thing to invite people to look at the business after they've been using the products. And especially if they're like making regular orders then it's really organic and natural to invite people to look at the business at that point. Um, so invite, again, for me, the easiest way to do it, um, then the most comfortable and like authentic way to do it is having workshops planned, or you, you know that one day a week you wanna sit with coffee with people and introduce the oils to them. So then making a names list, um, of people that you've been interacting with or that that um, you know have this natural approach or this interest in learning, um, this real, they resonate with you and would enjoy like spending time with you. Um, that's the, those are the people that you invite to the workshops or the one-on-ones. Anybody else want to add to their invite little tid golden nuggets that they have about their invite? I'll say that, um, which I didn't think about until you were saying that, I love teaching workshops. I love the group atmosphere. I love when women get together and learn together. 
And, um, and I feel like that does make it so much easier to invite because yeah, I'm teaching a class so I can send it out all over social media and all these WhatsApp groups and share it and ask people to share it locally. Um, so just the way you said it just now feels that really inspires me like, right, just put the, the workshops on the calendar and then I'll invite the people. Mm -hmm. I don't invite generally, like I don't meet someone in the street and say, hey, do you want to sit down and hear about oils? But a class with like a topic and that kind of focus of like, yes, moms with, you know, kids, people with emotional issues, whatever, hormone stuff, like hormonal stuff. If I have a topic, then yeah, I'll like shout it from the rooftop. So thanks for reminding me that. <laughs> right. Because when you have a, a workshop planned, then it is easier to invite someone that you started up a conversation with randomly in line at the grocery store or, or wherever, like, and you guys were talking about kids or something that resonates with them being a good fit for the workshop, then it is easy to invite like a stranger to a workshop. Right. Um, and it's also easier than to ask other people to share it. Cause once I have like an announcement about it, the flyer about it, I'll send it to 15 people who yeah. live nearby or know someone who would and ask them to share it because it doesn't feel like, I don't know, you know, it's all about me. No, it's a class. So we want to get people there because it's way more fun for everybody. So yeah, that's yeah. a good one. Um, I want to say something. Yes, we please. haven't done that yet. Um, someone that you've sent to me because she speaks Hebrew that was in your workshop about taking Skincare. care of the face. Mm -hmm. And she was so impressed that she wanted the products. And then, okay, so I asked you, what was in the workshop? What are the products? What is the process? And then, okay, I sent her the list of what, what are the products? What is the process? And we ordered most of the things. One of the things I just couldn't find when, we, when I signed her up and and then she, she called me and she said, well, because actually I don't remember anything that was in the workshop. I mean, it was amazing. And I felt that I need to do that to my skin. It's good for me, but I don't really remember. Yeah. So, <laughs> but it was, I think, so now you did and me are preparing uh, and hoping to do workshops off uh, taking care of your face with your procedure yeah. <laughs> and Great. because because well it's a fun way to learn something about the oils mm -hmm. and cosmetics are something that even people who are not necessarily naturally oriented <laughs> might consider if they have a good experience with it right and people have an acknowledgement that cosmetics costs a lot if yeah. they are good mm -hmm. so it's easier for them to say okay I want that it, right. made, it made me feel good I want to do that mm -hmm. so yeah. we are in the process of preparing I'm, not proud, of you. I'm so proud of you the, the skincare work actually stuff. yeah the inviting we I, we told our girls in the family that we want to do a trial workshop oh, because yeah. since it's that means that we are going to work with the products mm -hmm. that so that we'll know how it works and a, a lot of them wants to come yeah <laughs> you know that, so there um uh back in the beginning of my journey with doTERRA they, that was always that was encouraged a lot for you to use that like language when you're start, especially if you're new, that you're mm -hmm. like, you're um, like to give it over, like it's a trial workshop because we're um, just to, we want to like do a trial run, see how it goes, get the experience. And, and that's where you invite your like family and friends. And they would say like, use that language all the time, you know, because people like people want to support you and they want to come to a trial workshop. And then once they get there, they'll love it and want, want what you're offering at this trial, you know? 
So, um, and then it just makes the presenter feel a little bit more at ease, like you can do B minus work because it's a trial. Um, so that takes us into P, the presentation. So the actual message the, of wellness that you're giving over. Um, and here they're saying you're either presenting the wellness message or the opportunity. Um, again, I don't do so many workshops with the business um, unless, you know, I, I'm not opposed to it. I mostly am doing right now um, a lot of workshops to get people involved. And then once they love the product and show that they're using it on a regular basis, even just a couple of months, they've made or orders a couple of times or three times, then I'll talk to them about, um, you know, sharing the products, get their products paid for or going beyond that. And I usually do that more on a one-on-one. -on -one. So the when do you start one on? When do you start telling them or offering them to do the monthly order? I mean, an LLP. Because yes, so, good question. The first order, mm -hmm. I don't think it works. And then, okay, then then what? Say what? What doesn't work? Like she wanted the products for the facial. Taking care of, mm -hmm. but okay, and okay. I'm not very good at it. Well, you're learning. Yeah, well, very slowly. You're learning. Mm -hmm. But what? A, when do you suggest to people to do an LLP? So doTERRA recommends that, um, and that'll be in the, the last, the second page, but like once people have joined um, doTERRA and got their first order um, and their membership, then you do a wellness consultation and that's in the live brochure at the back. There's the wellness consultation where you talk to them about how to use the products that they got. And then also other areas in their life that they would like to understand what natural products and what doTERRA's essential oils would help with other areas that they would like to improve by using these products. Um, so that's the wellness consultation, going over what they're currently um, purchased and how to use it um, in their life. Mm -hmm. And then what are some other things that they would like to really look at and, um, and what products would apply to improvements in these areas. Maybe it's children's health or their emotional health, like, cause if they got skincare. And um, so in there, it's like you, that's in the wellness consultation, you talk about the two ways to get products through their membership. It's the set. And so you're just teaching them, like there's two ways that you're gonna go into your website and make a future purchase. There's the standard shop where you just, you get your 25% discount and you order and it comes straight to you and this and it doesn't stay in the system it's a one-time order and you order when you need there's the loyalty rewards program which means that you're making on a con consistent monthly order and it can be at whatever level you want it to be but if it's at 50 points 50 dollars or around 45 euros then, or to, you know, if you want to put it into all the currencies that are roaming around mm -hmm. Israel, um, you know, 250 shekels, um, then you start to earn rewards points. So you're just educating them about the loyalty rewards program and standard order and the two ways they shop. And then, you'll, and then you can say, and we did come up with some oils that you do want to bring into your family's life. Would you like to make it? Um, this coming month, like I don't pressure them to make it the very month that they made their order, but that's when you are doing the wellness consultation. So do you want to do it this coming month? And would you like to do it as a standard order or this monthly order where you get rewards points? And if it's a hundred, like if they're not doing the business, I don't say they, the hundred, but they have to stick it to a hundred, but you do talk about if it's 125 points, before the 15th, they get a free product. And then occasionally there's a 200 point. So that's when I just educate about the, the two ways to shop and the advantages of both ways. Um, and 
and then it's their decision if they how they want to order and I feel, I see that some people just want to order when they want and there are a lot of people that want to go on that monthly order and um and I just let them know that it can be changed it has to be changed every month and it can be lowered or it can be canceled there's no pressure to stay on it okay till now I never managed to even get to the wellness consulta wellness yeah. consultation only the okay they ordered okay. yeah right so that's why that we're going over this system because that's like what most people do like we feel really excited that we got people to make their first order in doTERRA and then we don't kind of go beyond that so that's why this this pipe so this pipes is first of all how you introduce people and get them started. Next week, we're gonna talk about the wellness consultation. How do you support people once they've joined um, and become a member of doTERRA? So the presentation, that would be in the share, um, share guide, where it kind of talks about the steps of presenting and what's some important things for you to, to um, prepare for your presentation. But the presentation would be, um, you know, your workshop, the workshop that you planned, whether it's just an introduction to oils and you go over some of the introductory oils or kids and wellness or skincare, or, I mean, there's so many topics. So Batsheva, I'm sure you, you have some topics in mind, but you just like consult with Hannah and get help with her on, you know, making those topics and deciding like, what's your way of presenting? Is it going to be in a workshop form? Is it going to be one-on-ones with you know, Hana helping or, you know, use as much help and support as you need in the beginning. It seems like you already did a workshop, so it seems like you probably don't need a lot of support, but, you know, um, do you have any information that you want to do? Have anything yeah, it was just a little bit of like the timing um, mm -hmm. on it. Yeah, but I would, I would love to continue to do workshops. I guess similarly to I do have like movement classes, a little bit of a mix between like dance and stretching and yoga and things like that. So I feel like I see people regularly and, and I use the oils there. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's not really a workshop. Right. But it's kind of, there's a space before and after when I'm when we're waiting for everyone to come in or when everyone has left to, you know, make orders. Mm -hmm. but it's not necessarily fully an informative workshop setting like I would want yeah. to do. So yeah, you'll definitely want to get that into your, cause like we're, I'm, we're all similar in the way that we have like clients or like we're, or like daily work that it's easy to bring the oils into our daily work. Um, and you'll get some sales from that and, and, and people joining um, from that, but like the workshops are just very much focused on um, workshops about an essential, essential oil um, focused topic that you know blends in other can blend in other um, other stuff. Um, like I love to do yoga, and no pun like, intended. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Right. I love to do like yoga with oils and that'll be a workshop specifically. And then afterwards, it'll talk about you specifically end, which is what we're going to talk about right now is you're ending with telling people how they can get the oils. Um, do you think I should do that regularly? Like if I have a class regularly, then to just to just put that in there at the end or. I think that your work, like it's good to separate like and have your your work that you were doing prior to doTERRA, but bring the products into that. Um, and then when, um, and you can always have like a little um, line at the end, like if you really liked your, the experience with the oils and you wanna know to how, how to access the oils and use them, talk to me after class and I'll help you understand how to, how to get these oils in your life. I think that's good to always put in there, but then it is good to have a specific workshop where you're going to present a topic and how to specifically use the oils, whether it's skincare or home health or child care or child health or um, um, yoga with oils, you know, it could be specific. And then you end with like, so 
we have like handouts of the, the different enrollment kits so that I show that in the workshop. Um, oh, okay, okay. And Thank you. yeah, so the, in the enroll portion is empowering the people that are your, your workshop to take home the information and then use the tools. And so if they don't have the tools, which is the oils, then they're gonna go home after your workshop and not continue with all those golden nuggets that you gave them. So like, you really wanna encourage people and even say that, I say that all the time in workshops, like, you know, now here's the part where I tell you how you can get these tools. The tools are the oils. If you go home and you take and you, did all these amazing notes and you experience them on your face if it's a skincare but then you go home and do nothing with it like you know you're not really gonna reap the benefits of this workshop so here's how you get the tools and the oils are the tools and so then we go over and that's in like uh i'll go up here and show a picture of this like there's these natural solution handouts um, that you can also download and print out. Um, there's different kinds of little handouts that get, give like a workshop idea for you. Like it talks about um, why essential oils and how they really work and the three ways to use them. And then it goes over some oils and then you open up this natural solutions handout and it shows you the the kits, like the starter kits, like these are kits that doTERRA's put together. We feel like they're the really good introductory kits. Um, there's an emotional kit, there's a skincare kit, like, so depending on what, what your needs are at home, here's kits that, that we like people to get started with so that you have this little tool set versus just like one oil is not really going to give you the full tool set. And um, so the, the, introductory kits are great and those are called enrollment kits so then it gets you your membership and you'll get 25 percent discount um, on all your future purchases for the next year and then there's other benefits about rewards points and i don't go over all those details but i just say there's a lot of other like promotions and rewards points that are offered when you make purchases through your membership um, and and then I just like give time for questions and help people um, ask questions about specific, if they feel comfortable, specific things that are going on in their home and their house with themselves or their kids or their husbands and what oils would be good for that. And in that handout, they can start checking what oils they want. And doTERRA really recommends like check what oils we've gone over and check those that those are the ones that you want to get started with. And then ask me some individual questions and we can see what kit is best for you. And um, doTERRA really recommends like getting people then on that handout is a page that they can fill out their information and, and give it to you and you can go get them started and sign them up. And I like the word enroll, enroll them into the doTERRA community with a membership and their order will be their oils will come to them in the next three to five days, you know. Um, that's how you enroll. A lot of times though, I don't do it at the workshop. Like I get their information and then I just follow up with them the next day um, or the next couple of days. It's, it's so much more effective if you can do it there at the workshop. I've seen that hundred percent. People like are excited and give you your information then they'll do it. Did you have a question? Have a question on this is, yeah. um, I guess, in terms of making orders in bulk, like when you're signing them up as the wholesale customer, mm -hmm. or maybe you're waiting to make an order to add up to a certain amount. Like, how how do you navigate that without you know letting people wait too long? Right. So I usually like the best approach. The number one best approach is to get people to get their to have people get their own membership and their own account where they use their address and their information and their credit card and you put it in that night or the next day and it comes to them in less than a week. But for people that are like, oh gosh, I would love to have the whole kit, but I just 
financially, it's just not, I'm not there yet. Like, can I get like one or two oils? Then that's the one, those are the ones that I would like add to your order. And they're like, and then you can just say like the best, best, best scenario is you getting your own membership and they'll come to you in the next couple of days. But if you can't do it, then I can put it on my order. You do want to charge them retail. Like you don't want to give them your price because then they'll never want to get a membership. Um, oh, okay. And then you'll just, and you say, but you know what? And they just have to settle for the, the natural, con the, the natural um, consequences of that of like, because they're not getting their own membership and ordering right away, they're going to have to wait until the bulk, bulk order goes through. Um, Cause then you, it comes to you. So you're also gonna have to navigate getting it to them. So you hundred percent want to charge retail. Cause it's like, it's, you're gonna, I've seen so many people like drive themselves crazy by putting people's orders, oils on their orders, but then they have to mail it or schlep it there or drive it there or get it there. And you're, then you're not making any money off of it. And um, it, it can cause resentment. So you don't want to do that. Um, and then if they like keep buying, like then they're, then if they buy again from you retail and then you say, okay, this is the second time you're buying from me and I love it. But like, if you get your own membership, you'll get 25% discount and it'll come straight to you. Um, so it really helps people to take that next step. Um, support is the last part of pipe. So you guys saw the pipe spelled out. I don't, I'll, um, here it is. Oops. Um, I'm going to just put it lengthwise across the screen. Prepare, invite, present, enroll, and support. So support is supporting your new members, like the customers that just enrolled, or and, and then therefore eventually the community that's building under you. So support means that once they once you've got them in the system and they're I let I always message them saying, OK, you should get an email saying that your order went through and it gives you your password and how you log in and go and check and make sure you got that email. I follow up with them, make sure they got that email. And then I say, go ahead and like sign on at any point and and play around and see how the website works. And then when you get your oils, let me know. And then they'll just message me what's up me that they got their oils and then I'll make an appointment with them for a phone call I, for you get a 30 minute 30 to 45 minute free consultation on how to use your oils. And that's at the that's at the back of this live brochure which you can download or you can order all of these in your back office and your next order and um. I like when I do the wellness, I need to be more consistent about doing the wellness consultations once people have signed up and gotten their oils. But when I do, people love them. They feel, find them super beneficial because now they know how to use their oils. And now that's when you teach them about the, the how they order, how they make their next order, whether it be a standard one-time order or the loyalty rewards program order. And so next week, I'm gonna go over, this is all about systems. So the, then the system of support, like how do we do the wellness consultation and how do you teach um, the order, the LRP program, the loyalty rewards program order or a standard order? When and how do you teach that? So, um, so that'll be next week. If you guys can get on Tuesdays at nine um, Israel time. And if you have the live guide, have that handy because the wellness consultation is in the back of that. I'm almost positive it's in the back of that. Um, anybody know 100%? Let me grab one really quick. So I like, I like, I ordered it because I love to have the physical copy. And yes, absolutely. It's in the back, it's called the wellness consultation. I'm gonna stop sharing the screen. Um, I bet actually, actually I went to download guide. Oh, that's the build, okay. So you can download all of the guides. And um, 
there's the lid. Ooh, look at that pretty new cover. That's not the one I have. So you can download it. And I, I like to have the this virtual version. I should download this new one. Um, because I send it to like, because you they used to send it to you when you got your order. Now they don't. Um, so I send it to people virtually. I send this to them. Um, I also sometimes, this is a good trick that I forgot about, is when they're making their order, I ask them, because I think it's a euro to get the live in their order. And I just ask them, is it okay if I put this um, brochure in your order because it'll be really great for you to learn all the different products and it'll and we'll use it for our consultation um, because at the bottom is it's good for them to go over all this on their own because you're just not going to have time to go all over it all but then there's the wellness consultation and so if they have it and it comes with them in their oils then they can be writing in it, whether you're in person or on the phone. I, a lot of times I do a Zoom with them for the wellness consultation, and then they can write their top health priorities. Um, and then this is where you're gonna su suggest what natural solutions they should be using for those health priorities. Um, and the so that's what we're gonna do next week because I have to go. So I'm going to stop sharing the screen and say, please stay on for questions because I do have a few more minutes, but I'm going to just stop recording. Bye, everybody.